This will be your uniform. There's a uniform? Of course there's a uniform. It's a private school. I'm gonna look like a dork. That's great. I hope so. You look so much better. I look silly. Well, that's because you didn't button it up all the way. See, isn't that great? This is worse. Now, now, we have to get going. Class, this is our new student, Bailey. Hey, guys. Hey, isn't your father crazy, Mr. Carlson? Mm, I don't know. He seems pretty nice to me. Do you know what he does for work? He won't tell me anything about his job. Yeah, because he does super illegal things. My father gave me Wagyu when I asked for escargot. Can anyone trade? Mm, no, I can't. How about you, new girl? I have a Lunchable for lunch. Anyway, have you been down into your basement yet? Basement? Yeah, dude, everyone is always talking about what he keeps down there. No, I didn't even know that we had one. You need to go down there and tell us about all the crazy things. Like what? I'm assuming you had a great first day of school. It was fine, I guess. Have you made any worthy friends? You could say that. Can I ask you something? Of course, as long as it's not about my job. Well... No, you are not allowed to know any information about my job. I cannot tell you. Why can't I know? You're my dad. It's hard to explain, but it's none of your business, okay? You are forbidden from asking me any more questions about my job. Fine, I got it. I have to find out where that basement is. I've checked every door in here and none of them lead to a basement. Did that bookshelf just move? No way, this is a secret entrance to the basement? I mean, he's still in his room. What the hell is all this? What are you doing down here? Uh, it's forbidden. I was looking for a bathroom. No, oh, choose a life to live. I don't think I should get on the submarine, so princess it is. Am I a princess or a cupcake in this dress? Princess, come on, we need to get going now. To what? Your speech, of course, in front of the whole kingdom. I can't. <clears throat> I think I'm sick. Don't be foolish, let's go. First you start out with your song, and then you give the speech. It's so simple. Please welcome Princess B. Hello, everyone. I would like to start us off with a song. <clears throat> Wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. Grab my- I'm talking- Okay, okay, that's quite enough. And that will be all for the song portion. Mm, now give them your announcement. Yes, everyone. The announcement is that I'm pregnant. No, no, oh my god, that's not the announcement. What is wrong with you right now? I told you I wasn't feeling very well. You have made this whole kingdom a laughing stock. I don't think I'm cut out to be a princess. An artist or a- P star? I don't know what that means. Hmm. Artist it is. Hi, are you the artist for today? I think so. Great, you'll be doing a portrait of my daughter. Yeah, I can definitely do that. You are so pretty. We'll be paying you $100,000 for this piece. Okay, let's begin. Voila, I am all done. Amazing, let me see it. Okay, here you go. What the fuck is that? What do you mean? I got all the details and everything, even the bracelet you're wearing. Absolutely not. It looks like a kindergartner did it. Do it again. Fine, I'll do it again. Is this one more close to your liking? What is wrong with you? You're fired. I still can't believe that girl didn't like my painting. A high school teacher or an assassin? I don't think I can handle 30 high schoolers. Let's hope that I have good aim. Sick, I look cool this time. Hey, we have a very important job for you. Me? Yes, you must kill this 27-year-old CEO. But he didn't do anything wrong. It doesn't matter. A rival company paid us to kill him. Take this. All you have to do is dump it in his drink. The payout for this job is one million dollars. Okay. I'm not even old enough to go into a bar. Ma'am, ID please. I'm here for the city safety inspection. Oh, I am so sorry about that, ma'am. Come right in. Thank you. That should not have been that easy. Hi, is this seat taken? Mm, no, no, it's not. Would you actually mind watching this drink while I go to the bathroom? Of course, it would be no problem. Hey, I'm back. How about we do a cheers to meeting tonight? Yeah, cheers. Wait a second. You can't take a dog out of somebody's yard. He probably has an owner. <coughs> He's so fluffy, I couldn't resist. Oh no, not this again. Could I borrow that pink top you have? Wow. The fuck? Meow. You have the humor of a preschooler. You know, hablas inglés. You were just speaking English to me. Puro ir baño. I have never heard you speak Spanish before. Bailey, do you want to hang later? How do y'all, would y'all like to sip my moonshine? Uh, what? Let's go down to the creek and do some fishing. You know what? Never mind. Please don't hang out with us. Seriously, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Are you, like, possessed or something? <laughs> no! Okay, somebody get this bitch a muzzle. Okay, but if all of us stop paying taxes, they can't arrest everyone, right? No, that's not how that works. 
Oh, it controls my hands. What does that even mean? Ow! Oh no, I don't like this. Sis, could you hold this for one sec? Sure. Wait, what are you doing? Oh no. Why would you throw that? It had grandma's ashes in it. I am so sorry. Yeah, tell that to grandma. I was on the floor now. Uh, excuse me. Class, who would like to present first? Bailey, great, go ahead. Great. My project is about... Uh, what are you doing? Are you feeling okay? <laughs> I wish I knew. Seriously, what? Did you just dab? <laughs> Ew. Oh my god, that was the worst thing I've ever done. If you don't present, you'll get a zero in the project. What's happening? Uh oh. Oh, you just punched me in the face. It wasn't me. You're still holding your hands up like you're gonna fight me. Your health is getting super low. Oh shit, you're right. Compliment me a few times. I love that necklace and your hair. You're so pretty. Really? What else? Okay, don't get too carried away. You know that I'm just trying to help you. Thank you. I looked and you're still in the lead for class president. Seriously? That's great news. Why didn't you tell me Jessica was gonna run too? Jessica, like my best friend, Jessica. Yeah, she signed up a few days ago. Now she's in like third place. What? I need to go talk to her. Jess, I didn't know you were running for class president too. Yeah, and you're gonna lose to me, bitch. What? You're hideous and I never wanted to be friends. Okay, seriously, stop. You're killing my health. Guys, get her. You're ugly. Your hair looks so ratty. I hate your clothing. You're built like a Roblox character. What is wrong with you? Why are you doing this? Have fun winning with no health left. I can help you to get your health back. I don't even know you. Trust me, you're gonna want to hear this. Stranger danger. Okay. Guess the song for $10 million? I'm gonna be so good at this. 90% of my brain is song lyrics. I'm a doll, but I still wanna party. <gasps> I just heard this. It was in the Barbie movie. It has to be Barbie World. Yes, I am totally gonna win. You have a peanut brain. There's no way you can win. Yeah, you wanna bet? Yeah, whoever loses has to clean the entire house for a year. Deal. 100 bands of chanel -y. What? Is that like a kind of pasta? Oh my god, why are you shaking your ass? Um, because I'm trying to get famous on TikTok. I'm dancing to Ice Spice's new song. Deli! This is way too easy. At least give me something hard. Why does it feel like I'm never enough? I feel like I've heard that somewhere before. Oh, runner up! Duh. Won't somebody give me the antidote? I have never heard that before. How am I supposed to guess? Better figure it out or I'll win. Next. Oh, hi, could I have a- Let me take a guess. You want the number three again? Yes, how did you know that? You come in here every day and get the same thing. I'm a woman of habit. You should really branch out and try something new. Number four is great. You know what? Fine, I'll take number four instead. I didn't catch your name. I didn't get yours either. It's Jake. Nice to meet you, Jake. Miss, your order is ready. Oh, I haven't even ordered yet. It's you again. I already made you a number three. Maybe I was gonna order something else today. You weren't though, were you? You don't even know my name, so what did you put on the bag? I put Jane Doe. That's what you do for someone you don't know. Hey, Mom, I got your food again. You got me the number three, right? I didn't like that number four. Yes, of course I got your favorite. Have you been seeing any of the news channels? <sighs> About what? There's a killer on the loose in our town. He's a handsome young man who calls his victims Jane Doe. Pick a number? For what? Each number gives you a different amount of prize money. So I don't know what I'm gonna get? No, that's the whole point. It's a gamble. Well, two is my favorite. 69 cents. I can't even buy anything with that. That sucks. I got $300. It's fine. I bet I'll have better luck next time. Is that a Louis Vuitton bag? Yeah, I bought it with the money that I won this morning. So did you buy anything good? I don't need to buy anything. I wouldn't be able to live without my Chanel bags. Let's see if I do any better this time. $3. Wow, that's tragic. Aren't you upset about it? No, I'm fine. Oh, I only got $1,000. This morning I got $3,000. Really? That's still a lot of money. Yeah, but it could have been more. It's not fair. You should be grateful that you got any. Everyone is about to be the last round. <sighs> okay, just gonna go directly in the middle. Um, are you okay? What did you get? Nothing. Play hot seat for a million dollars? Dude, you have to play. Me and all my friends are. What does that even mean? It gives you a question and you have to answer within 30 seconds. What if I don't want to answer it? Then you're out and you don't get the money. Just play. Fine, you're right. What's my favorite color? Seriously, is this what it's going to be? They get harder as we go on. Pink. Whoa, that's a quick change of pace. Well, what is it? Okay, when I was seven, I ran over a mom's leg with my bike and then I left her there. You're the one who broke Miss Cat's leg? Have you ever lied to your parents? Oh yeah, definitely. I'm sorry, Bailey, did you just say that you've lied to us? What? No, I didn't. Who was the last person you kissed? Don't be shy, tell us who it was. It was Michelle. Bitch, like my best friend, Michelle? 
Seriously, these are not bad at all. Okay, but don't speak too soon. Whoa, I told you they were gonna get worse. No, of course I have never killed someone. Oh, I have. What? Dude, relax, I was just kidding. Are you sure? What the fuck do you mean, am I sure? Yes? Have you ever punched someone in the face? Oh, absolutely. I punched a lot of people. When did you do that? You don't know everything about me. You better watch out. No, I have never punched somebody. Do you know why your mom is single? Yeah, her ex-husband cheated on her. Yeah, duh, that's exactly what happened. Do you know what this is talking about? No, I don't know anything. I don't know what you're talking about. No, I don't know who with. I think we should just drop out of the game. It's too much. Why are you getting suspicious all of a sudden? I'm not being suspicious. What? Did you know that your mom cheated with the pool boy? <gasps> Shit, you weren't supposed to know. No, I didn't know that. Seriously, let's just quit. Sis, what does this mean? I told you, I have no clue. You definitely know something. I didn't even know that the pool boy was dead. That's because he's not. He's definitely alive still. No, I don't know how he died. Bailey, you need to stop playing this game now. Just don't answer the next question. Really? Because I don't think I'm done yet. Seriously, I'm warning you. Where was I on June 17th? Um, I don't know. Oh, right. That's when mom made me go to the community pool instead of ours. Dude, come on. It's not funny anymore. Stop. Someone killed him. I have to find out the truth. You are going to regret this. I don't know who killed the pool boy. Well, shit, I told you to stop. Ew, what is on your face? What? What do you mean? Look at yourself. What is that? Your hand must have slipped while you did eyeliner. I didn't do it. Why would I mess up my nose contour like this? Okay, guys, let's not fight. Your soulmate probably did it. What, did they draw on me in my sleep? No, whatever your soulmate draws on themselves shows up on you, too. And done. Dude, why would you do that? It looks so bad. It was already bad. Hey, Bailey, nice butt chin. What? I do not have a butt chin. You literally have a butt drawn on your chin. Oh, this means war. Let's see how they like that. You spelled regrets wrong. I did. Bailey, what is on your face? Go to the office now. But I didn't even do it. Oh, don't worry. Your counterpart's in the office already. Okay, I'll go. Your top does not match your pants. Again? I thought it was black. No, dude, it's bright yellow. It's not fair that you can see everything in color and I can't. You just need to find your soulmate. Don't you think I'm trying? Not really. You're so anxious you can barely talk to me. Bailey, could you please read the paragraph highlighted in blue for us? Um, I can't. She's a loser who can't see any color. Okay, Colin, <laughs> you can read it then. Uh, yeah, okay, let me just find the... Which one is it? You made fun of me when you can't see color either. I can see color, I just got confused. Asshole. What did you just say? Nothing, I didn't know you couldn't hear, too. Whatever, smartass. Class is dismissed. Someone left these outside your locker. These are so pretty, I love red roses. I hate to break it to you, but those are white. So, who is it from? It just says, from your secret admirer. Looks like someone has a crush on you. Hey, does this shirt look bad on me? Yeah, it's hideous on you. I really hope that my soulmate has never lied to. Yeah, I don't think that it's a good thing. You have no friends because you're so brutal. I have friends. Your squishmallows don't count. Bestie, have you heard the rumor? No, what rumor? Well, I heard that. Ladies, no talking. I'll have to separate you. You can't switch our seats. I have social anxiety and she's the only one that I like. You should have thought about that before disrupting the whole class. Go sit with Jack. Ugh. Oh, can I please sit somewhere else? He smells so bad. You know I can hear, right? I don't even smell. I showered like two days ago. Sorry, that was a little bit brutal. Yeah, you think? So, where are you from, Stinky? Um, I was born in, uh, Maryland, yeah. What part of Maryland? The one where they catch the crabs. That's definitely not true. Who fucking cares anyway? I clear skin and i definitely do not i've had acne for so long that my routine to cover it is elite first up lumi lotion because i want to be dewy this nars pot concealer could literally cover up a crime i use a flat brush and then go very carefully over every single spot on my face until i have covered all of them already that did so much i use my finger to blend it in because then i don't lose any product because a sponge will soak that bitch right up why does this bottle not have any words i don't know i'm just gonna lather some of that on my face and then i use this tart little kabuki brush she is the best thing ever created in the entire world 10 out of 10 also 
I use the Tarte Radiant Concealer. It's amazing. The secret is this Makeup Forever Powder Foundation. This will cover anything. This shit could probably cover up a tattoo. The final product is even amazing skin. I love this so much. Hi, my name is Bailey Spin and my day- I'm a sucker, I give my all, then I get hurt We hang out and it's all great till you're replacing me with her I give a hundred, I get nothing, the disappointment so Who's your celebrity doppelganger? I have never been told I have one Really? No You don't think you look like any celebrity? No Hi Andy, who does she look like? Scarlett Johansson Scarlett Johansson I don't have the boobs for that <laughs> You shouldn't wear so much makeup. It'll collect on your mustache. At least I can grow a mustache. My doctor says any day now. Who are you trying to impress? Not that it's any of your business, but I'm kind of seeing someone, and I have a date after school. <laughs> Davey, the only person you're seeing is your therapist, because you went straight up psycho and can walk for three months. Oh, yeah? Well, I won't be able to walk again tomorrow, because I'm about to go get railed. Peace out, virgin. Summer is approaching and I still only have one bikini that I even remotely like. I might have splurged a little, but I got another one to try. I have really high hopes for this one because it was really expensive. Let's just try it and I'm gonna pray that it's good. This is the most beautiful thing that I have ever put on my body ever. I feel like a pretty little angel. I have never felt so beautiful in a bikini in my entire life. This set is Beach Riot, but I also have a sarong from a different brand. And this one is Beach Bunny. I think I am like that mysterious girl on the beach right now that you fell in love with and you're like, who was that? I don't want to take this off. And if you wanted to be real crazy, you could do a little off the shoulder moment. It just gets better and better. I think I'm going to have to give this one a 10 out of 10. Slay. Guys, I think I just made my best song yet and I am not being dramatic. This one's for all my mentally ill people. Um, I wrote a song about feeling completely out of control. Like the thoughts that were in my mind did not feel like they were my own. Flush my thoughts right down the drain. They're coming back like the rain. I'm just a passenger tonight. Overthrown by a parasite. Take caution, please leave me alone. Hands off the wheel, I'm not coming home. One of my front teeth is fake. Yeah, this one right in the front. I was always a little bit of a rebel when I was young. But this one time, I got too crazy. I loved being outside when I was a kid. I had a bike, scooter, penny board, and rollerblades. One summer day, I was riding my scooter down the driveway as I always did. And this was a very steep driveway. Here's a representation of the slope. Typically, I would go down the slope and then ride into the road. I don't know what I was thinking, but I decided it would be very fun to take a sharp turn onto the sidewalk. Spoiler alert, it was not a good idea. I had done this turn a few times before, so I wasn't really worried. I should have been. Well, I go down the driveway and make this turn 
turn, you can probably guess what happened. I went face first into the sidewalk. The impact was right here and I thought I just had a cut or something. I start crying and I go inside. My mom takes one look at me and notices that my tooth in the front is just missing. Where did it go? I don't know. I have a tooth now because a dentist fixed it. Funny enough, you actually have to get the tooth replaced every 10 years. This is my second tooth because I pulled out the first one eating a piece of taffy. The moral of this story is don't be like me, ever. <laughs> In front of me, I have the most expensive skincare I own. For tonight's routine, we are going to use all of this. This bad boy from Sonia Dakar, it is $97. Keep rubbing, you can literally see the skin coming off. This facial spray is $116. That was probably $30. Lancome Clarifi. I actually don't know how to say this, but it was $95. Just losing money with every product I put on my face. This serum from Drunk Elephant is $90. I better wake up looking like I own a yacht. Lancome Advanced Gentrifique. But seriously, this serum is $255. I don't even want to look at it. This is the same thing, but in night cream form. $95. It smells like a department store. This teeny weeny little jar of eye cream. $79. At that point, just take my kidney. This better do amazing things. Facial oil is is $135. I feel like a buttery little babe. This is the most expensive lip mask I own at $24. It smells so good, I want to eat it. I hate to say it, but my skin actually looks really good. Our total price is right here. Don't mind me, I'm gonna go DoorDash or something because I'm bankrupt after this. After years of making content, I have finally made merch. You can now get your own customized piece of cardboard with my name on it. <laughs> Okay, obviously I am just kidding. The merch is actually this necklace. Also, a pair of safety pin earrings with a heart on them. Because I'm extra, the heart on the necklace is bedazzled. I love it because I actually have this tattoo on my hand. These pieces were made in collaboration with Stacked by Susie. So if you want to get your own pair of earrings and a necklace, you can get them now on my website and Stacked by Susie's website. I'm so excited to finally share this with you guys. I have been wearing it for months and now you can too. Today I'm showing you how to dress like you're from the Lower East Side. First you'll need a maxi skirt, make it really ugly. Then you'll need a baby tee or tank top, bonus points if it's actually from the children's section. A pair of loafers or cowboy boots. Put your hair into two braids, pigtails, or space buns. Add some wraparound Y2K sunglasses. A hobo bag or a tote bag that your friend who's an artist made. Every single piece of silver jewelry you own. An oversized pair of headphones. And boom, you're ready for the Lower East Side. Not surprising, I got fucked over again I'm second string now, don't feel a thing now I'm the backup last call friend Today I'm gonna try to do a full face of makeup using this filter I do not have a mirror in front of me, so we're just gonna be going off of this I don't know if this foundation is gonna be able to cover up my sick beard It's even worse if I turn my head up I, I, I. I got three hours of sleep last night, so I need this Honestly, the cheekbones are already snatched Just now notice that the nose is lopsided Okay, something in my tooth, has that been there the whole time? I'm putting on a lot because I want to be blushing to the gods Can't forget the nose, oh, I fear that may have been too much <laughs> Why did I just notice that there are no eyebrows? Yes, we will not be doing my eyebrows at all the beard is transferring onto my hand. They're coming for me. It won't even line up. Oh no. Y'all fill her in. I don't know what that looks like. Round number two. Oh, um, why is it glitching? You think this lip color will go with my beard? Why are they lopsided? Oh, this is the best way to do it. What happened here? Okay, guys, I think that it's time for the reveal. In three, two, one. I'm processing. Both of these wings are just tragic. The eyebrows are also throwing me off. I definitely made my lips uneven. I'm gonna have to go fix this, but let me know which filter I should try next. One fun fact about me is that I hate bathing suits. I feel confident in like a bra and underwear and then I put on a bathing suit and I'm like, ooh. Anyway, I bought some new ones and we're gonna try them on together to see if I can get over my fears. The first one is from Black Bow Swim. I thought that this was white, clearly it is not. Before you guys say anything, I know that I'm pale. I will not be turning around because the back is a thong. I don't know if I like it more up here or like lower. I'll give it like a seven out of 10. I don't own any one pieces, so I thought that I might try it out. I don't really like this. Imagine the tan line that I would get with this swimsuit, just straight down the middle. I feel like it's also just like really unflattering on my torso. This looks so cool. I just don't think I would wear it as an actual swimsuit because it was a little bit unflattering. I have another one from Skims. My hopes for this one are a lot higher. I really, really like this one and that says a lot coming from me. I had a feeling that I was going to like this top because I have it as a bralette and I love it. Plus, this one's my favorite. I'm gonna give this a 9 out of 10. I love her. I still hate bathing suits, but at least I have one that I like. Have you guys ever had a friend just completely leave you out? Ooh. Delete that mean paragraph to your friend and listen to this instead. Oh,
diary, not surprising. I got fucked over again. I'm second string now, don't feel a thing now. I'm the backup, last call friend. I'm in a corner, your best warmer. Sub me out in the last corner. This is stupid, always losing, always stuck in second best. This has the highest coverage of any makeup product you can buy. I also just so happen to have a lot of tattoos, so I think we should see what I look like without them. I know you guys are gonna want me to do this arm. Just to see if it works, we're gonna try it on this arm. I don't know how to go about this, so I'm just gonna squeeze some on this brush. A chunk. I'm just gonna take it and swipe. Wow! This tattoo is completely disappearing. Immediately, it's just gone. This is tattoo eraser. I don't even know how to process what I'm looking at right now. Let's go for this big guy. I'm gonna do a little swipe. <laughs> I feel like I'm a peanut butter and jelly or something. You can definitely tell that something is not right here though. I have two more little guys right here. Todd the dino. I'm so sorry, you gotta say bye. Also, size. Ooh, that was satisfying. I knew that this was full coverage, however, I am still surprised. If this was actually my skin tone, you would never know. Why am I doing the Barbie hand? I don't know. This was just our test run, so if you guys want me to do the full arm, let me know in the comments. I have seen the people complaining that I only post the same one of my believe that I'm not using an extra mirror. I am so committed to the bit. Well, I need more foundation because my head is so big right now. Bombastic side. Why is my body completely normal? Do you guys think the contour is gonna help? No such thing as too much blush. I'm gonna need a lot for this nose. Gotta set it because I'm greasier than a McDonald's chicken nugget. I wanna have contour like Kim K. I can't even tell what I'm doing. Need to fix the front. To make sure they stay up all day. I don't know if that's good or not. I want so much blush that looks like Barbie threw up on me. And now I will be a disco ball. Oh my god, my nose. Uh... I will never forget my freckles. Oh no. Why does my finger look like that? I have to do eyeliner. This is not gonna go well for me. I feel like that looks kind of good. Side is way harder. Oh. This one's definitely not as good. This lipstick smells like a crayon. It's giving fish from fishtails. I think that was everything. Okay, reveal in three, two, one. Okay, hang on, it's not that bad. Gets a lot worse if we zoom in though. Look at that eyebrow. How did I even do that? But like from a distance, it's kind of good. Let me know which filter I should do next. Hey bitches, get a tattoo with me, but this appointment took a 360. Originally, we were gonna cover this one up. Look at how much hair was on my arm. Oh my god. Turned into a smurf real quick. Then we just started a completely new tattoo. From firsthand experience, tattooing your elbow is not fun. 8 out of 10 for pain. This hurts. We're not done yet, but I love it. So pretty. So I came home from VidCon the other day and discovered this box in front of my door. Of course, I opened it and I was like, what could possibly be in here? It's very heavy. It's like every single Tarte product ever. Are y'all okay? Thank you, but what? And the suspicious brown paper bag. We have so many things. A little beauty blender. So these are all the lip products we have in this mysterious bag. I only have one face. I'm gonna have to start putting makeup like all over my body. Two more brushes. Assortment of eyeliners and mascaras. I love Another brush. They sent me like every single color of the blush. The dupe. I hate that I just said that. Bye. Five different eyeshadow palettes. Tartlet in bloom. A man eater. If the little one wasn't enough, they sent the biggest one that they have. This is going to be really great for travel. It's highlighter, blush, and contour together. I'm going to lay all of this out on my bed so you can see it all together. But thank you so much to Tarte for sending me all of this. I can't even believe that this is real. This is everything Tarte sent all together. I cannot even explain how grateful I am. Thank you so much. Whoa.